So you're working from a home a lot, sitting at a desk in front of your computer, and you notice that you're fidgeting and it's difficult to get comfortable. More and more people are working from home or just spending more time on their computer. Depending on which source you consult, Americans sit between 8 to 12 hours a day. Science Daily claims that the average person sits 5 hours and 41 minutes per day at their desk. For some time now, health experts have been claiming that someone should stand 15 minutes per hour at their desk in order to promote a healthy lifestyle. Recent trends in academia, though, feel that this may not be enough. A university professor at the University of Waterloo recently published research that claims that 30 minutes is actually required. So with the working from home trend increasing, more studies are being conducted and results released regarding the productivity of employees who work from home. The verdict is actually very surprising. Employees that work from home are more productive. In fact, remote employees work a cumulative equivalent of 17 additional days per year. Moving employees to home from work does create some challenges. The employee must find a suitable area in their home from which to work, and they must have appropriate tools that promote productivity along with health, both of which are beneficial to both the employer and the employee. So then, how can we be productive and maintain a healthy lifestyle? I hope you will join us in our Work From Home Solutions series, where we will look at products that we use daily in our work to help us be more comfortable, productive, and maintain a healthy lifestyle. If you like what we're doing, don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you want to be notified of our future releases, please remember to click that notification bell. Thank you for watching. Hi, I'm Matt. And I'm Errol. Welcome to our YouTube review channel. Today we're going to be reviewing Foley's, uh, one of Foley's chairs. Um, it's a, a model that we use in our office upstairs and we've decided to go ahead and use it in our studio for our videos too because of its versatility. So with that, we'll go ahead and open up the box and see what we have inside. Sounds like a deal with me. Would you like a chair? I neglected to mention, by the way, that um, this were shipped to us and uh, they were shipped out of Portland and this did come in a, an exterior box to protect it so it came in very good shape. If you look at this base, I don't know if you can, this is a pretty good sized box. This is a very large base, one of the things that we like about the chair. Um, they roll really nice. They're, this is a steel base, by the way. And you have these really nice footrests right here, also steel. So if you're one of those people that like to put your feet on your chair base, you're not going to crack and break the plastic. One of the nice things uh, about it is in the chair at all times is a little instruction book for how to use these handles uh, and this knob down here for adjustments. We'll see how to do that in just a little bit. That's there. Plus, if you look here, there is a screw and a uh, washer that we're going to be taking out. We're going to slide the back directly into it, screw that back on. Assembly is complete. So let's do that now. Fully has three different height risers and um, for whatever reason they, they're shipped standard with the tall one. I think that's so they can sell you <laughs> they can sell you a shorter one. But anyway, so they come with the tallest riser when you purchase them. This is actually the medium riser, and they do have a smaller one still. So again, we've gone through the directions, so uh, we really don't need to refer to them. And the directions aren't even written, if I'm, if I'm not mistaken. That's correct. It's all just pictures. Just a picture. So all we need to do is just flip this over and drop it into the base, like that. Okay. The next step is putting the back onto the seat. Now they do tell you, we don't seem to see that, but they do have a little uh, placard in there that says when you receive these to open them up as quickly as possible. So if you're planning to purchase these and store them, they do recommend that you open up as quickly as possible 
so that you don't end up with package indentations in your foam. I'll hand that over to you, Errol, to go ahead and insert it in. And there's a little slot, I don't know if you can see it, uh, there that we literally just slide the top into. We make sure that it is fully engaged. When that's the case, we now take the screw with the washer, put it in there, tighten it up. Now, probably the hardest part of the entire assembly <laughs> is putting the uh, seat onto the uh, uh, riser, the pneumatic riser. So, place it down, assembly is complete. Now, I don't know if you noticed, and if the lighting does it justice, but just for today's assembly demonstration, because Errol's going to be the one doing it, Errol wore a color-coordinated shirt. <laughs> so, I did reach out to Vanna to see that if she would demonstrate the chair for us, she did not respond. So instead of Vanna, we have Mana. <laughs> well, thank you, Matt. <laughs> I think. <laughs> All right. So, uh, one of the nice things about the chair is that it's ergonomic. It has places here so that you're not putting a lot of pressure uh, on your thighs and on your knees. You have plenty of room. I like to put my feet back uh, onto the rest back here. There's even foot rest on the uh, base. Of course, the chair fully swivels. Very nice and smooth. Uh, if you want to go up or down, there's a lever on the side, the back one here. And we were all the way down. And even that's not all the way up at the moment. For those of you that are wondering, this is bar stool mode, and this is where the chairs end up after 5 o'clock. That's correct. <laughs> and away we go. Down to uh, more the size that uh, I appreciate. Now the next thing is, this particular seat can slide forward and backward. We're going to find out it's fully forward now, but if I slide it back, it seems like, whoa. Maybe it's too far back. We'll see what's really nice about it in a moment. But if you happen to have shorter legs and so forth, or maybe you want to put even less pressure on your legs, this is a very good way uh, to do it, is slide the seat back and forth. It also helps you sit in an upright position while resting against the back. If it's not, some, if it's not natural for you and you're looking to improve your posture as we age, um, <laughs> that helps you do it without having to put a lot of work into it for extended periods. And uh, finally, there's a lever on the side. This is uh, for tilt, but it's actually a tilt lock, uh, which means while it's in that locked position, which it is right now, I can't tilt the chair. But sometimes these settings, which I'll show you in just a second, are a little bit hard and it might be difficult to actually tilt the chair. The spring might be just... Yeah, here we go. Yeah, okay. okay, so that's unlocked. Okay. And, and then this is locked. Okay. So then the adjustment for that tilt is under the chair. This knob right here, which you can turn as uh, you please to get the tilt uh, uh, much easier. Now, what happens when you're tilting on the chair, it will not lock into that position, I don't think. We might try that. It does say lock, and we haven't actually done that before. No. So if I tilt back and put it in the lock position, yep, it will lock. It will lock in a tilted position. It will lock. And I in wouldn't a have guessed position. it would do that. No, I wouldn't have either. That wasn't in the pictures. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let's see if I can unlock it. Let's see, push back. There All right. you go. There we go. Super. Now, the other nice thing about these chairs is the ability to turn them around and get uh, armrests. Mm -hmm. And this is too far down for me to insert my legs in there. So we pull this little knob on the side, pull it out, seat comes up. Step onto the chair. And now, when you're sitting at a desk, put this back down a little bit. I can actually rest my elbows or bring my 
arms back here, and it's extremely comfortable. It's also very nice uh, in the front of your body, the chest, and I've left this in the unlocked position so I can also lean forward if I'm trying to reach for something further uh, on the desk. So, I think I've got it. I think you had one more thing to mention, didn't no. you? No, I mean, just, just that um, for me, it's very comfortable. Um, it's much more comfortable at my office at home. I have a traditional chair with the, in the side. Huh, I guess the battery went out on the light. Yep. With the side rails on it, and um, they, really, they really don't do much. I mean, you know, you don't type and rest your arms on that. And so, for me, I've learned that they're kind of pointless, but this, being able to actually have my elbows on this and type, this is actually functioning and it makes sense. So, and it's one of the most comfortable desk chairs that I've ever had, even though it looks so yeah. simple. There's a, a lot in this very simple looking chair. So, thank you very much. Don't forget. Yeah, to like, subscribe, and comment below. And please do that if there's anything that we can do other than lighting and <laughs> as, as we get more things together and you'll be seeing the green screen and everything come to come into use. Um, but please don't hesitate to comment and send, uh, tell us what you would like to see in these videos. And um, thank you very much for joining us.